Welcome back Drifters. So today we're going to show you guys how to weld your Miata's diff. If you've got the 1.6 with the VLSD, this is going to be helpful to you. Um, basically on those things they have a sealed unit so it's kind of hard to get the gears when you're trying to weld it. And I'm going to show you kind of what I can do to get that done. It's not the easiest thing but it's definitely doable. These things are prone to breaking after you do this so be warned it's possible that you might weld it and then first day on the track go and blow it. But at this point, we're doing it for our car because the diff that's in there now is currently blown anyway. So it's kind of like, let's just see what happens. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. So what are we doing? I'm going to light it on fire. Turn it out. Okay guys, so if you can see in there, there's a couple of gears that we're going to try to weld together. This is going to be kind of tricky, and i got to be extremely careful not to weld past where the splines are going to go in. So when you're under here, let's see if you can see this. So I'm putting my finger in through here, and you can see down there, there's my finger. There's a pathway in there. You don't want to be dropping weld in there because that's where those things go. So got to be very careful when you're doing this. So we're going to do one, then we're going to turn it, and we're going to do the other one, and so on and so forth. So let's do this, and hopefully this thing works. sure you want this, right? Because yep. there's no Just going back. Just do it. Time to cook us some diffs. That's a big old ball of... Chiseled it. Woohoo! It's working. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a big old pile of turd. It's working. What's up? Well, yeah. Getting there slowly. I think my visor's not working. I'm starting to see spots. Are your eyeballs burning? No. Not yet. It's like impossible to see in this bitch. It's getting so dark. It looks like a bunch of lumps of turds in there. So we're definitely gonna need to knock some slag off. Cause it's spitting all up in here but i think if we get like a thin wire brush we can knock it all off you see that stuff in there that's the slag that we got to get knocked off because that basically got stuck um when we were welding it just pops in there sometimes so we're just going to pop all that little loose stuff off all right oh look at that don't mind those shitty welds. However, it is, uh, it is welded. <laughs> I mean, it all spins as one. Yep, that's that flux core for you. Now what, I just need to clean it out a little bit and, uh... Clean it, reassemble it. Put some lube in it. Yep. And it's good to go. It's a little hot. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back. We got the diff out, we got it welded and everything. I just finished cleaning it up. Um, then I put some gasket sealer around it, black RTV. 
Put it back on. It's uh, 17 to 20 foot pounds is the torque range. And now, got to put some fluid in it. And then we can put it back in the car. And hope everything works well. Okay, so guys, the long stub axle, when you're looking at the back of the diff, goes in the right side. The short one goes in the left side. And then these, you just kind of, they got this little ring on it. You just slide it in and then hammer it in place. So after a few hours of banging and shit, these things are on. Got them all on there pretty good. Just Pain in the ass. Hammer the shit out of them. They'll go on eventually. It's just a little bit of work. Mm, it smells lovely. So we only need 0.69 of a quart. Okay, Austin got it back in there. Yeah. Everything's tidied up. So now we got ourselves a welded diff. Hell yeah. Alright guys, that's it. That's all we're doing today. We managed to get this thing on there and it was a lot harder than we originally thought it was going to. It took us way longer than we thought and it was a lot more work, but it's totally worth it because now we at least don't have a broken diff. We have a welded shitty diff, you know? So it could be worse. Um, hopefully, if this helped you guys out, you know, hit that like button. If it didn't, dislike it. Either way, it just lets us know if you guys like this kind of stuff. Um, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing because we have a lot more stuff planned for this car as well as our other cars. Um, and we hope to see you guys in the next one. So if I don't see you guys, I hope you all have a blessed day. And just remember, keep drifting fun.